there's a black comb in there. Get that one. Okay, so right now I'm going through what the model gave me. Um, trying to see what catches my eye, like oh, uh, as far as how I want to pair everything, whether it's her accessories, if I want to add a belt, if I want to do shoes, no shoes. Um, yeah, just going through what I was giving and trying to see what I can make do with it. Tell, the, tell people what you got on. You like the, uh, that shit. <laughs> All right. I knew you was going to do it. Yeah, he love with me on the spot. Oh, oh. Oh, let, me, let me back up real quick. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, um, I got some of everything on right now. Um, my brand. It's my baby, Bel Air. This is the blazer that I have on. And the shorts are from Sacred. It's my best friend. Um, so I just wanted to go for a different look today. Usually I'm always so matchy matchy, but I was like, let me pair this together and this what we got. So yeah. Right now I'm just concealing. I've already contoured and everything just to give her a foundation. Now I'm highlighting, which is one of my favorite parts. Well, I say everything is my favorite part, but this is my favorite part today. Why is highlighting your favorite part? Because it brings brightness. Because I do the darkest steps first, so it ends up looking a little dull. But the highlighting kind of refines everything. Yeah, there's a certain process that you go by when you do makeup. It changes on the daily. I asked my barber this, even though I don't have hair no more, but I, I noticed like over the years, he was starting different areas, like cutting hair. Like, like, what you doing? Like, just, does it, do you have a just certain thing to do? Honestly, it depends on the glam, too. This one is kind of more avant garde. 